Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Grammy's Story Time. Come on up, kids, and sit on Grammy's quilt. Come on up, Christian and Claire. Come, Mark, Tiffany, Raymond, Stacy. Come on up. This week is a special day on Thursday. Does anyone know what that day is? That's right. Raymond, good job. Thanksgiving. And we have so much to be thankful for. Today, we're going to thank God for our five senses. That's the sense of hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touch. Today, we're going to talk about those five senses right now. First of all, the sense of hearing. Hearing is a wonderful gift. And God made us perfect so that we could hear. We could hear our mother's voice. We can hear birds singing. Hearing is a wonderful thing. And God gave us that sense. Next is seeing. God made us to see so that we could see the faces of the ones we love. We could look at the beautiful flowers that God has made. And God made us perfect so that we could see. And seeing is an important, very important sense. Then, the sense of smelling. God gave us that wonderful sense to be able to smell. That means we could smell our mom's good cooking we can smell the beautiful white lily. We can do a lot of things with smelling. And God made us perfect so that we could smell. Also, God made us perfect so that we could taste. God made us so that we could taste. And he made us so that we could have oranges, and we can taste them. Mmm, let's see. Mmm, that's yummy. Oranges, God made us so we not only can see them, but we can taste them. It's a wonderful gift that God gave us. And then, last but not least, is the sense of touch. We can feel and touch one another. And God made us so that we could touch our mother's pretty hair or we could touch our cat and they could sense that back. So God gave us that sense. It's a wonderful thing. So life wouldn't be the same without hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touching. So I have a scripture that I'm going to share with you that regards our senses. Oh, praise the Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's Psalms 139, verse 14. And it is a beautiful praise to him for having made us perfect. I brought a coloring sheet today. It says, Happy Thanksgiving. Yay, and I put be thankful on the top. And there's a beautiful big pumpkin and corn and a, a gourd there, some grapes and two beautiful maybe sweet potatoes, some leaves that are oak leaves around the edge. And it says, Happy Thanksgiving. So make sure to color that. It'll be a beautiful picture, and you can give it to your mom for Thanksgiving. So the Lord has made us perfect, and we have so much to thank him for. Let's pray together today. Father in heaven, I want to thank you 
for what a wonderful God you are, for all the senses that you've given us. Lord, I thank you for my family, for our families, and for our neighbors, and for our friends. Lord, I thank you for a safe house to live in. I thank you for good food. Lord, there's so many things that you have done to bless each one of us, each one of the children. Thank you, Lord, for being such a wonderful God to us. And I ask that prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being here today, and I want to wish you each one a happy Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful day next Thursday. Bye. See you next week.